Here's Luis Arias. And he shoots a ball to left. And that finds some open space. And that'll score the first run of the game. Arcia trots home. It's an RBI double for Luis Arias. 1 0 Milwaukee. Good hustle right there by Arias, too. That's a ball that got in the gap, didn't shoot it. And Arias does a great job of getting out of the box. Fast, thinking double. Right when he hit it, he thought, I'm getting, to, I'm getting a two. Great piece of base runner right there. That's a pro slide as well. There's another pitch that's up in the zone from Matt Boyd. Tiger is talking about the success of Matt Boyd, and that pitch is shot to left. Another one, another one similar spot. Abasel Garcia connects, and the Brewers have another. Um, but it's good. It's good fun. Uh oh, go. Jed Jerko going the oh, other way. Jetty, gee. Forget about it. <laughs> Jed Jerko uh, muscles up for his sixth home run of the season, and the Brewers are up 4 0. Nottingham lifts that one deep to left, and Bonifacio will give it a look. He has no play. It's gone. Jacob Nottingham powers up for two, and Milwaukee's up six zip. Well, the home run has cost Matt Boyd. We touched on it coming into the start. 50 home runs he's allowed since the beginning of the 2019 season. Brew crew playing some long ball. Second home run they've hit on the day. Getting some separation as well as Corbin Burns has been pitching another pitch up of the zone. Looks like a changeup. Kind of dives back to the inner third of the plate. And Bonifacio gives it a good go all the way back to the wall. Almost looked like a batting practice swing. You know, it was a pitch down the middle, changeup, maybe like, you know, a little something off it himself in that towel. Ryan Braun past shortstop and that is going to be a play oh, at the beat, plate the beat, the beat. and did he ever touch home? Yeah he's in there. He's safe. Avisel Garcia scores with a smile and Ryan Braun drives in the seventh run for Milwaukee. I thought for sure they were going to have I'd like to see this slide. Throw was there in time. This is what we're talking about, guys. His hit is contagious. Ball comes up, gets a hit. What's happened here? Oh, the ball kind of gets stuck. It looks like in his arm. He never is able to get the tag. Great slide right there by Garcia. Waved at a couple of big slow breaking balls. There Unleashes. You there you go. And finds plenty of open real estate. And that's going to bring in Garcia. Christian Yelich knocks home a run and the Brewers lead it 8 0. Sean, that, Sean, sorry, Scott. Sean, that, that's the swing that we saw last year in 2018 that made this guy a National League MVP. A ball on the inner third of the plate and he does damage. Another uh, good look at this swing. Really Scott. gets through it right here. Middle in, you know, great job too. Drives at the right center. If he's in there spinning, he pulls that to first base. But because he gets through the baseball and he's able to drive it to right center, that's Christian Yelich. That's the guy we know right there. Shoots it great. Backspin on the ball. He's able to shoot that gap. That's a nice sign right there for the Brewers. And it keeps the on base streak going for Christian Yelich what? at 28 games. This title. It would be the first in Milwaukee Brewers franchise history. That one is shipped to left, and it's going to fall in fair ground. That's going to be a lot of trouble. We see Yelich coming in, and it'll clear the bases. Luis Arias with the double to knock in three. It's 11 0 Milwaukee, and that makes it nine extra base hits on the afternoon for this brew crew offense. I wonder how many guys are in the dugout right now showing saying hey Sean let's save some of these right. I know same seats. Hey what are we doing. <laughs> save seats. They've been wearing out that left field corner too. Highest run total for the Brewers this year. 11 runs and they have really been getting that you know, we always say in the big leagues, get that line moving. They've really been getting the line moving all day long. Sure, that Corbin Burns feels good about himself, and the hit parade continues. Tyron Taylor is feeling good. That's his third hit of the day. Arias scores 12 zip Milwaukee. That left field corner is getting worn out. I think if you're Craig Council, the last thing you want to do is say, okay, I want to leave Corbin Burns out there. You want him feeling good about himself. There's a good look at him right now, trying to keep that jacket and keep a towel, keep that right shoulder warm. I would assume if he could get through this sixth inning, the bottom of the sixth, 
Last thing you want to do is to drive that pitch count up. He's been so good as to leave him out there for three or four runs. You'd like to send him on his way on a good note. Jerko on the ground. And that'll be two in exchange for a run. 13 now for Milwaukee. Garcia scores. Cubs bullpen has struggled a little bit more than the Brewers. I'd love to see this guy swinging like that. Ryan Braun goes long. Wow. Braun for two. It's 15 nothing. Well, that's what Ryan Braun usually does. You know, he's a guy too. You see in that lineups had a, had a few back issues this season, but you know, you you hang one to Ryan Braun like that. You hang it, he bangs it. And that ball was out over the plate, just kind of sitting up there. Was he was able to really get his arms extended and really skies this ball to left field. Yeah, the nice rock and fire and Jerko launches. Oh, there's a goodbye. Rock, there's a rocket shake rattle and roll right there. A little two homer day wow. for Jed Jerko. Right down the middle, right down Bravo. That's what you gotta love, you know. Jerko calls timeout. Gets a pitch though, right there. That's a batting practice fastball, 80 miles an hour, middle in. That's something you'd be crushed just like that. This is the previous pitch. Was it a, wait, hold up. It's a position player? Let me think about this. Come on, come on. He was trying to rattle him right there. You're like, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Next pitch, boom. He got him. A little bit right now, that 83 84. Oh, he jammed him. It's falling in though. Yeah, it is. But it's Arias. one of those days. It's one of those days for the Brewers, right? Yeah. Everything's falling in. The Tigers are like, let's get this all out of the way. Wow. And there's Arcia to make it 17 runs. Might be a potentially easy one, two, three oh, inning and boy. look out. Tyrone Taylor. Goodbye. So, you want to be a pitcher, Sean Casey? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Wow. A new franchise record for a single game. 13 extra base hits for the Brewers. And Tyrone Taylor has a home run and a four-hit day. Three extra base hits of his own. The first of his career. Wow, congratulations. First home run. He'll remember that forever.